Media culture is a recent cultural variety of human cultural evolution. In the middle of the 20th century, as a substantial byproduct of the studies made in the field of culture, the field of media culture developed as an offspring of culturology. Attitudes and values developed through the media, the emergence of activists, heroism, etc. belong to media culture. Books, radio, television, bookstores, newspaper outlets, libraries, cinema theaters, drama theaters, and many more are on the surface of media culture. Human behavior has undergone some evolution in the media process. Humans use various media to capture information, to make leisure time meaningful and to have entertainment. In this society sometimes you are a reader. Sometimes you are a receiver, sometimes you are a literary critic. The reporters, writers, journalists and professionals who compose media messages are also among these. In this way, media-related human behavior has become an important aspect of media culture. Various technologies have emerged to send and to receive media messages in the media process. This technical knowledge and process is also a part of the media culture. There are a lot of images of heroism in society due to the media. Idols such as actors, singers, announcers, dancers, sportsmen, politicians, social activists belong to the media culture. They are made by the media. They need to survive in the media and their impact on society is enormous. Media culture also highlights an evaluation system. In Buddhism and other religions, they teach that happiness is born inside our mind. But the media emphasizes that you can buy happiness. Media culture was developed by the desire to capture information through the media. In the third quarter of the 20th century, Walter Benjamin introduced media culture as a concept. Media culture develops into a unique culture with the expansion of the reproduction process. Being able to copy information on a large scale and transmit it to the wider community at once has led to the growth of the media culture as a culture. As a result, the value of literary and artworks has been diminished. As an example, the Mona Lisa painted by Leonardo da Vinci is an invaluable creation. However, reproduction or copying has made it possible to sell copies of this painting for very little amount of money. However, it is advantageous for ordinary people to be able to take home copies of such paintings for a low price. The behavior of the people, how they live and the way they live etc. are decided by the media culture. Marshall McLuhan based on the concept of media culture divides the human civilization into three main stages. They are prehistoric written cultural stage, written printed cultural stage, and visual cultural stage. He says media culture includes all media that supports human activity. Media constantly expand and this is considered as an external expansion and an extension of man. He says that media remove themselves from man and act as an outward force against man himself. In this way, the media culture in mankind, is referred to idiomatically by Marshall McLuhan as an amputation. Amputation means the action of surgically cutting off a limb. Media culture in contemporary society performs the information task, communication task, ideological task, restoration task, creative task, integration task, and the intermediary task. An ideology is a worldview, a system of values, attitudes and beliefs which an individual, group or society holds to be true or important, these are shared by a culture or society about how that society should function. Media messages always reflect certain values or ideologies though sometimes we may not be aware of this. An example might be that in some texts, such as action films like the Die Hard or the Lethal Weapon series, solving problems with force is seen as an acceptable value and reflects a certain ideology. Integrate means bring people or groups with particular characteristics or needs, into equal participation in or membership of a social group or institution. Intermediary means a person who acts as a link between people in order to try and bring about an agreement. Intermediary means a mediator. Media culture is a powerful tool for socializing newcomers to an active society. Socialization involves providing information and knowledge to man, building the ideological character of man and engaging him or her in creative work. Thus, media culture is a complex process with boundaries that cannot be precisely marked. 
When a new media trend emerges in a society there is a huge change in the prevailing culture. Certain cultural elements fade away. Some cultures begin to take on a new dimension. Young children in the past have heard stories from their grandparents. They learn cultural values and customs from elders. But with the complexity of the society, the media has succeeded in both of these tasks. Literature was brought down from generation to generation by oral tradition. But with the emergence of print media today the tradition and talent of storytelling have faded. Today, children watch teledramas and cartoons instead of hearing stories. They embrace the core values of the media. Media culture is one of the reasons why modern children acquire so much new knowledge through the media than they did before. Because of the culture of the media, the environmental and traditional knowledge of modern children are being lost. In a society where media culture is powerful, the media decides the politics of the country. The media has the power to appoint and overthrow rulers. Media culture is a unique development of the information age. Because of the globalization, the influence of social organizations has become extremely weak. The media has thus become one of the most powerful influential groups that exert pressure on the authorities on behalf of the people. The media has the unique power to bring up and maintain any cultural aspect or social issue. The media also has the unique power to make us forget any cultural aspect or social issue. The media has the power to promote or eliminate a cultural activity. The media has the power to promote or eliminate a politician. Modern media images are created in line with market expectations. Social images created by the media are often made use for marketing purposes. This is how Kumar Sangakkara is used to sell Coca-Cola and Airtel SIM cards. Most of the cultural products that are created in the culture industry depend only on the patronage of media culture. Mass media and the market forces behind them decide what the public should enjoy. Most of the cultural products that are created in the culture industry depend only on the patronage of media culture. Mass media and the market forces behind them decide what the public should enjoy. The story of Dimutu Mutu, the first teledrama in Sri Lanka by D.B. Nihar Singh, puts the Jinasena water pump in the narrative. That means that whole teledrama is like an advertisement of Jinasena water pump. For more than a decade, Rupahini Corporation's 8.30 pm to 9.00 pm airtime was dominated by insurance companies. The tragedy of the middle class people in their old age has been the subject of many teledramas. Most of the times during the teledrama and at the end of the teledrama a new life insurance was introduced. The agent of the insurance company decides the narrative of the teledrama with the preparations for the sale of their insurance policies. The expansion of the television media has caused the film industry and stage dramas to collapse. It also changed the family life culture. Instead of sitting down and having dinner together, face to face, people started eating in front of the television. Interpersonal relationships have diminished and relations between the individual and the media have widened. Instead of writing personal letters and indoor games, phone calls, SMS and computer games have become popular. The social utility of media culture is stronger than all other factors. Earlier institutions such as the family, religious institutions and the school built the social values in children. Now media has started building the social values in children. While it is the essence of all religions that happiness cannot be bought outside, media culture emphasizes that happiness can be bought. Social exploitation is done according to the vendor's agenda. Their aim is to maximize their profits by turning people into overconsumption. Engaging in solitary life struggles instead of collective actions has resulted in this trend. It is also a new trend for a popular religious culture to get rid of the discomfort of buying and getting tired of buying. Religious miracles, positive thinking, Vesak zones and Christmas zones belong to popular religions. The collective thought process of society is shaped by the media as the trader wants it.
Accordingly media culture includes the information production culture, the information transmission culture, information cognitive culture, information understanding culture, information perceiving culture, information evaluation culture, information disseminating culture and creative culture. Accordingly the entire process of human activities through the utilization of media denoted as media culture.